Do you love diving into those emails that promise how they'll teach you how to crush it, destroy your competitors, or hypnotize the herd? If so, you've come to the wrong place. We don't crush, annihilate, spin, fold, or mutilate anyone here. <laughs> but if you're really, truly looking for a way to attract a lot more ideal clients, stay tuned, because 10 seconds from now, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that with three powerful techniques that will absolutely transform your marketing videos. In our last video, we looked a little bit at the problem that comes with the advice to be yourself. The big problem is that most people hate the way they look on camera, are freaked out by the technology, and don't have a clue where to start. I'm Steve Washer, the Vinod Chai Video Guy, and I've been involved in the video marketing industry since even before there was an internet. I've seen a lot of video techniques for selling products and services, but none of them has the sheer power of putting yourself on camera. This is the one thing that turns your invisible websites and campaigns into client attraction magnets. So, um, what's wrong with being yourself? Well, nothing if all you want is to be a file clerk and go to dinner at Tuesdays on Friday nights. Or is it Fridays on Tuesday nights? Oh, whatever. If you have higher aspirations, you're going to need a few more tools. Energy, observation, and the ISP, which I'll explain in just a moment. But first is energy. This starts with the basic things your mom or dad used to nag you about, like sit up straight and don't mumble. Unfortunately, we rebelled and never really learned it, many of us. For instance, I'm going to be myself right now like I am at like 11 o'clock every day of the week, so you can see what I'm talking about. Hi, welcome to our website. We have things for sale here. We have things for sale here. Buy something. I wish I could say I was exaggerating. I've seen so many videos like that one. So the point is that, yes, being yourself is okay, but you want to be your best self with the right degree of energy for your market. If you help people with depression, for example, you don't want to be too upbeat. On the other hand, if your people run million dollar businesses, you can bet that they have to put out a high degree of energy all day long and they don't want to be brought down by the bad hair day that you might be having. So let your energy match your market. Also, get used to seeing yourself not in the mirror. We look different on camera than in the mirror. Have you ever noticed that? To get used to that, you have to watch yourself quite a bit. Now, admittedly, this is not so easy for those of us who have you know, great radio faces, but it's really important because you learn what works and what doesn't work for you like you may begin to notice when you're slumping, or when you're mumbling, or when you're frowning, and you know, when your energy is down. It's like football players who watch those game films to learn what to do better next time. There's just no substitute for seeing yourself do the work. You know, practice. So you might be wondering, do I need to be a great public speaker? Well, this is kind of where we depart from the classical teachers of rhetoric. It's fine to be skilled in the mysteries of public speaking, but what people are really looking for from you is helpful knowledge and advice. You don't need to be a movie star to deliver the goods. You just need to be moving. Which brings us to the most important resource to help us dance through the minefield of the persona, your ISP, your irresistible screen personality. Basically, ISP answers the question, who do you want to be? And there is one simple and elegant way to make this decision. You reimagine your story as a journey, the journey of the reluctant hero. We've seen this a million times and we never grow tired of it. That's because this story is kind of hardwired into our consciousness. Luke Skywalker loses his family and answers the call to adventure. He wanders in the wilderness, narrowly escapes defeat and death countless times, finds a powerful mentor, gathers allies, learns what he needs to become and to do in order to succeed, and finally returns to conquer his enemies and ultimately triumphs. The world of business is like this too. 
Now maybe you've never thought about your life in this way, but everyone has something unique that life has taught them. In Seth Godin's book, Tribes, he writes that all of us are meant to take a leadership role with a special group of people who are out there waiting for you and lost without you. They need to hear your story so that they can be inspired. And they need to know what you know so that they can become who they're supposed to be. So part of your ISP, your Irresistible Screen Personality, is your story and what you've learned as a result of your experience. So now you know, one of the main components of the ISP is the ability, is the ability to inspire. So how do you do that? Well, there are a lot of factors involved, but to be inspiring, a good start is to be inspired yourself. It would be good to come from a place of wanting to share, to help, from a place of openness and vulnerability, and to do it in a way that shows you understand where your audience is coming from because you've been there yourself. The best thing about the irresistible screen personality is that it's something you don't even need to create from scratch. It's already inside of you, waiting to come out and you know, make those connections with the exact people who need to hear your message right now. If you'd like to learn more about the ISP and other critical factors that go into making videos that connect, just drop by BrainyVideo.com for all kinds of free resources. Oh, and speaking of resources, your ISP may be just one of the most valuable you own because it's the only thing about your company that can never be duplicated by anyone else. And there's more good news. The ISP can be nurtured and developed and made more valuable with each video you make. Well, sure, there are lots of concepts involved in developing the irresistible screen personality. But you don't need to wait another minute to put this into practice. So start practicing. Your tribe is out there. How much longer do you think they'll wait for you? Well, that's all from me for now. I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com.